My name is Ryan. Uh, I've been attending Mount Olive for just over two years now, um, and I, I really fell in love with with the people here, the welcoming environment, um, and, and the people's hearts for hearts for Jesus, hearts for God. Today, I want to talk a little bit about some of my strategies or tips for digging into God's Word and getting started reading God's Word. Um, this this um, these strategies will be in large part focused for people who haven't really been able to find a way to get into the Word on a consistent basis or who haven't read through the Bible or and, and, and want to and have a desire to to learn and, and grow in their faith. Um, there's there's three main components um, to, to the strategy if you will. Um, there's the approach, um, there's the idea that you need to commit to it, and then the last aspect is figuring out a way to engage with God's Word besides simply opening the Bible and reading it. Um, so beginning with the approach, uh, you know, I, I always tell people, start in the book of Luke. Uh, Luke is a, one of the four Gospels. He was um, a doctor and it's a, a, an awfully historical account, or it's a, a historical account of uh, Christ's life. So um, sort of the main idea, if you will, in a way that is, um, it, it's, it's, it's tangible, it, you can comprehend it. Um, it, a lot of it, you know, probably won't go over your head, you can really dive in, in, in deep, but it, it's, it's just a great spot to start, it, it's manageable. And then moving on from there, I would recommend jumping back and forth between the Old Testament and the New Testament, um, spreading out the Gospels, um, consider taking chunks of the Old Testament and, and reading just, you know, maybe two to four books at a time, uh, perhaps in the same time period. And, and, and the benefits of that are that you, you don't, you know, for somebody who hasn't read the Bible before, starting in Genesis and sort of, quote, plowing through can get really difficult. Um, I, I won't, I'm not going to say that, um, the Word of God is dry by any means, but as somebody who is doing this for the first time um, without some of the later context that comes, it's just really hard to understand what's going on and, and why these things are important or who these people are. Um, and, and so by, by sort of jumping back and forth, uh, I, I think it helps provide that context and, and it's easier to understand and it, and it makes some of those, the, you know, the, you hear about the Old Testament or, you know, and how that's tough to read and, and get through, it, it just makes it easier on yourself. One thing that helped me is printing off a list of the books of Bible and, and crossing them off as I went. And that way, you know, as I would come each day and read, um, I would see the progress I was making and, and it didn't just feel like I was swimming in this massive um, unattainable goal of mine. I, I saw the progress as I went and that really helped me to um, to, to stick to the plan. And, and that kind of leads into my uh, my next strategy, which is the idea that you need to commit to doing this. Um, it, this has to be a priority in your life. You have to plan, you have to set aside time, or it's not going to happen. Uh, one of the pastors of mine growing up always said, um, to fail to plan is to plan to fail. Um, Life gets really busy, and if and if reading the Bible isn't a priority to you, if you don't plan your day around it, it's just not going to happen. Um, and so, so how do I how do I succeed in, in planning to read the Bible? Um, you know, this this may sound silly to you, but I I mean this in all seriousness. Is that I have a chair, I have a recliner. It is my chair. Everybody in the house knows that this is my chair. And what's awesome is that right next to that chair, I, I like to read in it, um, is a book stand. And so with the Bible right there, I know that when I'm in my chair, I need to read the Bible. And I sit in that chair every day. So that makes it awfully easy to get into Scripture because I know my chair's there and I know I'm going to sit in it. And with the Bible right there, it's just that easy that before work, you know, after breakfast, I go pick up the Bible and get and you get you know, a, a daily Bible reading done. And if I need to go take it to my desk after work to study or whatnot, I, I can, but I know that when I sit in the chair that I will have read the Bible for that day. 
Um, and, and I'm not telling you that you have to do it in the morning, at night, um, in the middle of the day. Uh, I'm not telling you it has to be in the same place. Uh, but find something that works for you. Um, make it a routine and, and prioritize it. The last strategy that I have would be to find a way to interact with the Word of God in a way other than just reading it. Um, whether this be underlying, underlining, highlighting, um, making timelines, journaling, um, putting, putting things into a Google Doc, your phone notes, uh, whatever works for you. Um, not only is this um, a way to make you, like, that, that you can point out significant things in the text, but it makes you understand and, and paraphrase. It makes you think about the text more than just reading it. Um, if, if you are, are studying for a test or, or doing something for your job, it, it's not likely that you would just read something and then go do it. You would probably take notes. You would probably do something to help you remember what you were just read or learned. It's, to me, it's the same thing with God's Word. Um, if I want to truly learn and, 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 and um, interact with the text, I can't just sit down and read it. There has to be more to it. Um, and and one, of the, one of the cool things is that in my Bible, this is actually my grandpa's Bible, and it, it's been really fun to go back and see some of the, um, the comments, the notes, the, the circles that he would do that... Um, it, that uh, that he made in the text, and so what that that helps me is, as he was a pastor, it helps me explore um, some of the thought processes he had and, and what his values were in life and how he loved the Lord and, and followed the Lord, um, and so that's taught me, and, and it's also taught me how to um, read the Lord's word, and, and so I guess to close and, and to sum up, um, set up an approach that that isn't necessarily from, from Genesis to Revelations. Um, commit and prioritize God's word in your daily life and engage with the word in ways that aren't just reading it. Again, my name is Ryan. Um, I pray that these uh, strategies or tips have um, helped you form ideas on how to um, start and continue to um, dig into God's word on a daily basis. Blessings.